Come with me, toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back as always to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Um, and I'm very excited today, I've got another mystery box. Um, now this has been sent by a viewer of the channel, um, so this has been sent by my friend Joseph. Uh, and when I say friend, so he may be a viewer of the channel. Uh, me and Joseph actually uh, met through Michael Mercy's channel, which is why I'm rocking the, uh, the Nerd Must Day today. Um, but since meeting Joseph online, and we haven't actually met in person, but I will go as far as to say that I do consider Joseph actually a very close personal friend. Um, we speak occasionally on, on Skype, but we're messaging each other all the time. He's just a really, really good dude. Um, and I reached out to him a while ago and said I wanted to send him a, a DVD copy of my um, Story of Action Man documentary. Um, what I didn't tell him was that I was gonna throw in some extra pieces in there. Uh, and I know uh, Joseph is a very, very big G.I. Joe fan, both a real American hero and um, G.I. Joe adventure team from the 70s, the 12 inch figures. Um, so in that gift box, amongst some other things, I did send him a, a 12 inch Action Man Deep Sea Diver, which was sort of copied from the adventure team line. So, um, so yeah, I sent that box a while ago and Joseph has now sent me a box. So let's, let's get this open. I don't want to hang around. I picked this up yesterday and I've been dying to get this open. Um, weirdly though, Joseph did tell me um, when, when I was opening this or when I'm getting ready to open the box that I had to have um, a chamois or a cloth nearby because there was something that was going to need to be wiped down. I'm very, very odd, quite curious, um, but I'm sure we'll figure out in a moment what's, uh, what's in there. So, so this, this box has come all the way from the, uh, the west coast of the United States. And, oh wow. Okay, I see something I like already. Look at that, a vintage Sergeant Rock comic. Get up and fight you dummies, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh man, yeah me and Joseph have often talked of his, uh, his passion for Sergeant Rock and I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to reading this comic. Okay, so we've got a letter here. Oh man, we've got a letter here from Joseph but it says Please read after you've gone through the box. So I'll put that to one side for a moment. Get some of this bubble wrap out of the way. Dude, we have here a catalog from the William Britton Collectors Club. I did a video a while ago on, um, on W Britton's Toy Soldiers. Uh, I actually got into collecting because, um, well, I think it was born into me because growing up as a kid, my dad collected W Britton Soldiers. Um, and he would take me to a toy shop when I was young to sort of pick out an action man uniform or something and he would go off and purchase toy soldiers and I, from a very early age, you know, your, your father's a bit of a role model in your life, well, a major role model in your life, not a bit. Um, yeah, and seeing him at that young age walking into a toy shop as an adult and, and buying toy soldiers for himself, I guess I just always knew that when I stopped playing with toys, I would start collecting toys. This catalog is incredible. I know my dad has a lot of these. I don't have any of the catalogs. Oh man. So this is the 1993 centen the centenary edition. So that's, that's come out in 1993. And this is 100 years of, uh, of the William Britton Company. Look at those beautiful toy soldiers. Oh, Joseph. Thank you very, very much, man. I have, I have some of the figures in here. Actually, a lot, um, how well you can see that. I have a lot of these, uh, the single figures here. Um, dude, this is awesome. Thank you very, very much. Okay, oh, we've got, we've got instructions here. This one says, open first. So, I'll do as I'm told and um, I'll get this open first. Very well packed. It's, 
a 12 inch figure, but I have no idea what. Oh my holy hell. It's a vintage G.I. Joe Adventure Team uh, Land Adventurer. Complete with shoulder holster, his pistol, the Adventure Team logo. Oh, I often get asked on this channel when I'm, uh, particularly in the live streams when I'm talking about Action Man stuff. Um, people often ask me, you know, I've got some vintage 60s, Joe. Do I have any, any Adventure Team stuff? And I say, no, I, I, I don't, but I, I am very, very keen on that line. It's a huge line to start collecting. Uh, it's kind of one of those rabbit holes when you start going down, you never know when you're gonna to get to the end. Um, man, this is incredible, Joseph. Thank you so much. A vintage G.I. Joe Land Adventurer. That's awesome. Oh, okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know where I'm gonna pack it, uh, where I'm gonna put it all. Blueprints. And these are blueprints for the Cobra Rattler. A, uh, a G.I. Joe or a Cobra vehicle that I um, really, really want and haven't yet acquired. Thank you very much, Joseph. That will definitely come in handy one day when I do eventually get myself a Rattler. Okay. What do we have here? I see Adventure Team again, so we've got a massive Adventure Team sticker. I'm gonna to have to find a really awesome place to put that. And also in the bag, oh man, some uh, some vintage Empire Strikes Back trading cards. These, these are incredible. I'm gonna get these out and have a look. There's a whole stack of them in here. Check these out. The Dark Lord of the Sith. What else have we got? My favorite character, Han Solo there on the Millennium Falcon. Um, oh, that's a, that's a beautiful image, that one. It says, R2-D2 on a misty bog, or on the misty bog. So that's when he's on, uh, on Dagobah, just after the sort of X-wing uh, crash lands in the, in the swamp. Man, these are awesome. Thanks, Joseph. And there's something else in this bag. Britain soldiers. Oh, dude, awesome. This is from the Britain's uh, detail range. And they are um, 7th Cavalry from the American Civil War. Awesome figures. I have quite a few that Britain's um, did. Well, I have quite a few, but that line was massive. I don't have even half of it. Um, but a lot of mine are sort of World War II based, um, but they're really, really cool. I, lo I love me some, some Britain's detail soldiers. Thank you very much, Joseph. Oh, dude, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh. It says wings. No, you haven't. You haven't, Joseph. Have you have you sent me a Cobra Rattler? Oh. That's one of the wings for the Cobra Rattler. And the other wing for the... Dude, you've just 
blown my mind. Oh my God. Now I understand what the, uh, why Joseph said I needed a, a cloth, because he's, uh, Joseph's a pretty uh, talented toy restorer as well. Um, and he's polished all this stuff. This looks absolutely brand new. This is incredible. Oh man. How? The belly pan. I actually, I think Joseph sent me a complete rattler. Oh my God. So that's the, um, the tail fin there. It's got the Cobra, I don't know how well you can see the Cobra logos on the side. <sighs> yeah, this, this is definitely what the cloth is for. So all of this has been uh, polished. I don't know if he's got like um, armor oil on here or something. Um, armor oil is actually how Action Man polishes his boots. So when I polished my boots when I was in the army, um, you know, I used traditional boot polish. That's how you do it, it's leather. But with Action Man's boots, being plastic, a little bit of armor oil and, and, a, and a cloth and you polish his boots ready for the Action Man parade. <sighs> okay, this is the, the this is the belly pan in here. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning up to do after this as well because um, <laughs> there's bubble wrap and styrofoam all over the floor here. So I've got a... Um, I have a G.I. Joe Sky Striker, uh, vintage G.I. Joe Sky Striker with um, the Pilot Ace. And I, I did a video review on that a, a while ago, um, but I've always wanted to do, so I did, I did one versus video with my sort of my, my G.I. Joe Ranger reviews where I put the, um, the G.I. Joe Or Striker up against the Cobra Stinger. Uh, and I really sort of liked that review concept of comparing a, a, a similar G.I. Joe vehicle to a a similar Cobra vehicle. Um, and I would love to sort of revisit the G.I. Joe Sky Striker and do a versus video against the Rattler. I mean, one of my favorite G.I. Joe comic issues, uh, I don't remember the issue number, but it's where um, Ace, uh, I think the, the, the story was called Dogfight, but it's where um, Ace and Wild Weasel basically just go toe to toe in the skies with, in, with the Rattler against the Sky Striker. Um, and, and basically in the end, it ends up in a stalemate and they sort of, that's sort of the closing panel of the comic. They, um, they salute each other as they fly, fly past when they're all out of ammunition and they have to return to base. Um, really, really great uh, G.I. Joe story. Oh. Christmas came early, eh? Oh, man. So. All right, this is gonna be a little bit easier to, to get open, I hope. So I can tell what this is already. This is Wild Weasel. So I've got the pilot in here. And he is, he is minty. That's a really nice example of Wild Weasel. Really tight joints, good paint. I love it, I love it. So we've got the main landing gear, engine cowlings. Um, also in, in, a, in a very nice blister that I'll probably use later on to, um, to display a figure where you can sort of put the figure in one side and then there's a narrower panel there for the accessories. So I've got a few of these small blisters for, for figures where it just holds the figure. You know, this, we've got the side panel for the, um, the accessories. So even that's, even the, the packaging's cool, Joseph. Oh man. You're one good dude, Joseph. So we got the, uh, what was that? The engine cowlings. Both of the, uh, the engine cowlings. And as always, like I did in the recent um, Action Force video with a mystery box I got from George Aitkins, I will um, certainly get, oh, 
I just dropped the landing gear and I know they're really fragile on the Cobra Rattler. So there is, there's two of the landing gear. I think that's the landing gear for the wing and then there should be another one um, for underneath the sort of the main fuselage. Um, yeah, so as, as I did in the recent um, mystery box video from George Aitkins, the Action Force one, which uh, I'm still spinning from that video. Now this is just gonna send my childhood brain into orbit. Um, but as I did at the end of that video, I pieced everything together and put it on the table. This is kind of hard for me to show you at all because all the parts have come uh, disassembled, probably for ease of, um, of shipping for Joseph. Um, but I'll definitely get the Rattler pieced together uh, and take some beautiful shots of it and show you at, at the end of the video. Okay, we've got a box here that says bombs and other cool stuff. I don't know how much more cool stuff you can fit in here, Joseph, but let's find out. Okay. All right, so we've got all the various pieces of the Rattler here. So that's the, uh, the rear gunner's um, turret. And I'm gonna find somewhere to display this. This is not gonna get packed away in storage, Joseph, I promise you. This is going on display. I may even, uh, up in the, uh, the Analog Toys collection room, get some hooks into the ceiling and, and suspend it from the ceiling. May even have the Rattler and the Sky Striker in the dogfight. Um, I think there's sort of some small like uh, engine panel covers. Um, I'll need to figure that all, all out. Those are the engines. Um, so the Cobra Rattler was, what do they call it? A, a VTOL, so a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft where um, you know the, the, the plane could take off like a normal plane where it goes down a runway, but also the, um, the wings could rotate so that the thrusters pointed straight down and, and the, uh, the Rattler could lift off vertical copied from a, a, sim, a, you know, a real world military vehicle. So some more brackets and pieces. Oh my, man, look at how many bombs go with this thing. Bombs, miss, well I don't think there's any, yeah there is a couple of missiles, they're mainly bombs. Dude, this is gonna take me a while to piece this together. And we got some stuff wrapped up here. Ah, uh, it's the cockpit. The cockpit is easily, uh, on any sort of toy vehicle, is easily the, um, the first item to get scratched and scuffed. And Joseph is a real expert at bringing these back to life. And I'm actually, I'm gonna touch base with you, Joseph, and get some tips on how you do this, because I'm gonna restore the uh, Action Force Red Shadows Hyena that I got in the mystery box from George Aitkins and that canopy needs a bit of work. So I'm sure I'll, uh, let's get onto a Skype chat, mate, and you can give me some tips on how to make these canopies look like they're brand new. That's incredible. I wanna put that down somewhere where it's definitely not gonna get dropped and broken. And here we have, yep, so the other, the other two, pieces of the cockpits. I'm not even gonna take these out of the paper just yet because I don't want even the oils on my, my hands to ruin them. I'll get it all together later on. Okay. We're almost there. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get the box out of the way. Real estate is a premium around here, as you can see. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The Cobra Rattler. I wasn't sure if I'd ever, ever have one of these in my collection. I didn't have one of these as a kid. I really, really wanted it. Um, I think the, um, the Christmas that came around when I asked for this, I actually got the Cobra Hydrofoil instead, which is still a pretty cool vehicle, but I really, really wanted the Rattler. Man. I'm not gonna fiddle around with the landing gear now because I know it's very fragile. 
Yeah, so the two landing gear that I showed you in the bag before they go on the wings, and then there is um, uh, the third landing gear there under the fuselage, under the under Wild Weasel's cockpit. So that's the cockpit for Wild Weasel, and that's the sort of rear um, uh, gunner's turret. Um, oh. Amazing, amazing, oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna set a couple of these items down here where you can see them. Let's get a couple of the Britain soldiers there. Um, can you guys see those? Move them back a little bit. Gotta get this gorgeous land adventure in there. G.I. Joe Land Adventurer. He's definitely appearing in some videos, Joseph. Um, okay. The instructions at the start were to please read this after you've gone through the box. And we've got some artwork here from Joseph's Boys. And I, I met Joseph's Boys on a, a Skype chat a while ago. They're awesome, awesome young boys um, who, through their dad's passion, they're actually into... Um, oh, so this one, this is a drawing of the, of the land adventurer. From Thane to Tony. Thank you very much, Thane. Uh, as I said, I've, I've, I've met Joseph's boys on a Skype chat. These boys, they're, they're a bundle of energy. I'm sure they keep your hands full there, uh, Joseph, but it's really cool that they've got the same sort of passion for, for G.I. Joe that I had when I was a kid, you know, and they get that passion from you, and, and later on in life, man, they'll really appreciate that, that passion that you passed on. Um, and this one is from Tours. This one is from, uh, from Joseph's son, Tours. From Tours to Tony. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. Okay, we're down to the letter. There's more than just a letter in here, I think. This is, um... Ah. The Rattler wing shaft at the bottom there. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's read Joseph's letter. Tony, I hope you enjoy the items here. The Land Adventure is all original, with the exception of the AT decal. Uh, only a fragment remained of the original. Um, and the sidearm is a Cotswold collectibles replacement. Well, everyone knows my view on replacement parts. I don't care, because he looks so much better with a replacement badge and pistol rather than being without it. So, um, and I actually think I have the original pistol there, Joseph. So um, I can probably swap out the repro pistol, but the, uh, the stick is staying right where it is, brother. Um, I don't have any original Hasbro sidearms as I thought I had. Turns out they're from another line, possibly Migos fighting Yank. But the figure, uniform, shoulder holster, AT dog tag, and at least one boot are all vintage Hasbro. I think both boots are vintage Hasbro there, Joseph, and again, I've got a, a, whole, I've got a shoe box full of old boots. So um, if, if one of them isn't quite correct, I'll, I'll fix it up. Um, so, um, where, did I, where did I get to in the letter? Um, I hope he is the seed for, future for, the, for a future adventure team shelf in your outstanding Action Man G.I. Joe collection. And I'm thrilled to give him to you. Well, thanks very much, brother. I, was, I really was happy to send you a spare deep sea diver that I had. Um, thank you very much. And probably my favorite adventure team figure as well, uh, the land adventurer, being a military guy, I suppose. Um, the Rattler is 100% complete and all original 1984 minus the blueprints instructions, which are a, a, a photocopy, but um, I appreciate you sending them to me because I'm gonna need to use those blueprints to figure out how to piece it together. Um, I had a great time restoring this beautiful bird and polishing each piece to a new sheen, and I, I know that's clearly evident, Joseph. This, this is immaculate, this looks brand new. Um, 
I debated replacing the decals, but decided to keep them original since they're in decent shape. That was a good choice, man. That was a very good choice. I like that you kept them original. Uh, Wild Weasel has a new O-ring. Oh, that means he's not genuine original anymore. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I've replaced O-rings in nearly all of mine, uh, even ones that haven't broken, even as they start to come loose. Um, I, that, that's a, a, a silly comment that people make when the, the O-rings aren't original. Um, and he's ready for action. Hopefully you will have fun building it and, and reliving as we did back in the day, assembling our awesome Real American Hero toys before we played with them. The rest are various items from my childhood that were important to me during those times. The AT logo is an iron-on in case you want to customize a hoodie. Oh, cool, I will. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna put it onto a t-shirt and make a uh, Adventure Team t-shirt that I can wear in some of my videos. Um, Thane, who's six, and Tours is four, wanted to give you something as well and included drawings of their own 12-inch Joes. I want to thank you for being a large part of their interest in G.I. Joe. Uh, thank you. Um, I think a father's inspiration is greater than a YouTube channel. Um, but if I've helped in any little way, I'm, 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 it's my, been my pleasure. Uh, they love your videos and they've watched the epic Action Man documentary you made several times. Cheers, my good brother and yo, Joe. Well, my, my wife's in trouble because she can't top it this Christmas, man. This, uh... This is a fantastic early Christmas gift. Sorry if you can hear some banging in the background. I think my wife just got home. She's been out shopping. Um, man, I, yeah, I can't believe this. This is awesome. Um, thank you very much, Joseph. What an incredible experience. And I'm gonna get it all together onto the table and displayed. Really appreciate it, good brother. And I'll definitely, let, let's let's catch up really soon for a, for a Skype chat, because I want to thank uh, Thane and Tours for their uh, their sketches of the land adventure as well. So take care, brother. Um, have a beer, um, and we'll speak soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.